Welcome to Brooks High School. I'm Julia Grantham, Grade 7 Leader here at Brooks. This is where your child will start their high school journey in 2022. So to help with the transition process, we're going to take a look around. Brooks High School is an exciting place to be. It is a place where teachers care and support students to do their very best. There are many exciting learning opportunities for students. We also set high expectations for behaviour and attendance. We have state-of-the-art facilities at our school, so let's take a look around. We have a large cafe that is open most of the day. Starting early in the cafe is Breakfast Club, where students can access a free breakfast before class teacher. During breaks one, two and three, students can purchase a range of affordable food options from sandwiches and wraps through to our hot food options like burgers and pies, not to mention our weekly specials such as jacket potatoes and nachos. There are FPOS facilities in the cafe and we also have the Quicker app where you can pre-order and pre-pay for menu items. To support the range of sporting opportunities offered to students at Brooks, we have fantastic sports facilities on our campus. We have a large gymnasium and weights room, numerous sports fields, including a large football oval and a second mini football oval, soccer fields, basketball, tennis and netball courts. Along with our sports areas, we have a large campus for students to enjoy during the break times, with general play areas and lots of seating. Our middle years campus is home to our school library that is accessed by all students for learning. It also hosts our Middle Years Campus Assembly at the start of each week. During our third large break time of the day, it also is open as our Haven space for Middle Years Campus students to access. The Haven acts as a quiet inside space for students to sit, chat, read, play board games and connect with our school support staff. The Haven also has a kitchenette area where students can toast a sandwich, heat up their lunch or make a cup of noodles. The Brooks Performing Arts Centre, or PAC as it's known, is home to our music, dance and drama classes. This is also where we host the majority of our full school assemblies. Our music department has a variety of practice rooms and even a recording studio. We'll go riding on the horses, yeah, yeah. With dance and drama having access to a fully equipped dance studio and a full stage area for performances. Our state-of-the-art science block is home to three fully equipped labs where students are able to engage in a variety of scientific experiments. Our science department also looks after our animal studies class where students can learn all about animal biology and husbandry. We have two fully equipped school kitchens from which we run our cooking and catering classes where students hone their culinary skills. Our arts and technology block is home to visual art, digital art and MDT. <laughs> Students at Brooks are exposed to a variety of learning experiences such as painting, drawing, sculpture, photography, animation, woodwork and metalwork. Just off our cafe space we also have a school art gallery where we run exciting exhibitions of student work across all grades. At Brooks we pride ourselves on being a place of peace where everybody helps and everybody works. We have adopted the Department of Education values to help us uphold our mottos and strive for excellence. Aspiration. If I am aspirational, I aim high, believe I can do it, try my best. Courage. If I am courageous, I take responsibility for my actions, learn from my mistakes, work out of my comfort zone. Growth. If I show growth, I persevere, am always learning, am resilient. Respect. If I am respectful, I welcome everyone, am kind and considerate, show gratitude. Our campus is set up into two main areas, the Middle Years Campus and the Senior Years Campus. 
The Middle Years Campus, or MYC, is where your child will spend the majority of their time in years seven and eight. Our Middle Years Campus is a safe and supportive environment that is designated just for our MYC students. They have their own play, seating and sports areas, along with access to a haven space during the big breaks. We start each week in the MYC with an assembly where we celebrate good things from the week before and announce our students of the week. We unpack focuses for the week, which are often linked to our school values and set ourselves up with all of the information we need for the week ahead. Let's explore how a grade seven classroom operates. Most of our MYC classes operate as double units. This means there are two teachers and one teacher assistant available to our students at all time. Today, we are going to be looking at 7EF. Some fantastic performances coming your way, um, some awards based on um, some academic performances, as well as work habits um, and rewarding those people that have worked hard at all. Working as a double unit for core subjects allows the students to have access to two teachers and a teacher assistant at all times. Our rooms are large, and while we generally work as one double unit, we still have the scope to break spaces back down into two single learning spaces when needed. Our classrooms all also have access to a breakout learning space room. Our setup allows us to flexibly group students to target specific learning needs as they arise. On average, each single unit class consists of 20 to 25 students. Our day starts with class teacher at 8.50 a.m. and rolls straight into our first block of learning. We have a four block day, each block running for 75 minutes. There is a break after each block of learning throughout the day, giving students two 15 minute breaks and then our big 30 minute break at 1.15. The end of block four is at 3 p.m. and this signals the end of the school day for students. In the MYC, students don't have lockers as they spend most of their time in the same classroom while engaging in their core learning subjects. They do have bag racks to store their bags and their own tub to house all their books and learning materials. Our core subjects include English, Maths, HASS, Science, Health and Physical Education. Other than PE and Practical Science lessons, all of the core subjects are studied in their core double unit classroom. Along with their core subjects, Grade 7s work their way through a variety of option classes. The options classes they do can slightly change year to year depending on numbers, but in general they study two options each term, rotating through digital art, visual art, MDT, cooking, music, and this year their sixth option has been ICT. In Term 4, students usually have an opportunity to select which option they will do for that term. We emphasise Grade 7 students trying a variety of option subjects in their first year, but from Grades 8 onwards, students do have more say in their learning by selecting which options they want to do. We offer an extensive range of options from Grade 8 onwards for students to choose from. Some of our more popular options outside of those already mentioned are tourism, hair and beauty, animal studies and child studies. We pride ourselves on our strong assembly culture at Brooks. We have two whole school assemblies each term where we celebrate success and showcase learning across the school. We also have an Australian wide reputation for our Anzac Day commemorative assembly each year, winning a national competition on more than one occasion. Each grade area also holds weekly grade assemblies to set our students up for success, celebrate achievement and set focuses for growth. We value the importance of providing leadership opportunities for students as a key part of their schooling. Students are encouraged to explore leadership in a variety of ways during their time at Brooks. From small one-off opportunities to campaigning to being elected onto our prefect board or into house captain roles in year 10. There are leadership roles and opportunities for students in each grade. Each classroom is set up with enough devices for students to be allocated their own. This is at no cost to home, but the laptop does stay at school. Brooks High School upholds the Education Department directive to not allow students to have access to mobile phones while at school. We understand that students do have phones and may need them on the way to and from school. So our classrooms do have phone safes where they can safely store their personal devices for the day. We do not take any responsibility for students' phones or personal devices such as smartwatches at school. 
Other than to put a device in the classroom safe, the expectation is student devices are not seen or heard while on school grounds. We have a strong emphasis on uniform at Brooks and the expectation is every student is in full school uniform every day and we do whatever we can to support families with this. We have a variety of uniform options so students can choose what they feel most comfortable in. Most of our students wear our school polo top, a grey hoodie and black track pants or shorts. We also have a summer dress, winter skirt and white shirt available, along with a polo jumper or green woolen jumper. Hats are not compulsory for breaks in high school, but if a student chooses to wear a hat, it must be either our Brooks cap, bucket hat or beanie. You may also choose to purchase a house-coloured polo top for PE lessons and sports carnivals, but this is not compulsory. All these items are available to purchase year-round from our school office, but we do hold a uniform sales day during the summer break, just prior to term one commencing. Students can purchase track pants and shorts elsewhere, but we ask that there are no branding logos and shorts must be an appropriate length for school. A few other things to note about uniform. We do not have a specific school shoe, but shoes must be closed toe and appropriate for school. So Ugg boots, thongs and stilettos are out. Tights are not considered pants, however, they can be worn under dresses and skirts for modesty. We also do not allow students to wear denim or black jeans as part of their uniform. Attendance is extremely important to us and we emphasise the importance of attending school every day for every lesson. One of the only times we wouldn't expect to see a student is when they are unwell. We ask families to follow up and explain any missed days or lessons of school by calling, texting or emailing the office. We also have an app where you can notify us of any absences. We value learning time and encourage families to make any appointments students may need to attend outside of school hours, wherever possible. Buses are easy to catch at Brooks. They all leave from the turning circle at the end of the day. Our bus stops are signposted with destinations and Mrs Fisher is out on bus duty each afternoon to direct students. You will receive more information on buses and where to catch them to get to school when you receive your enrolment pack. We have a fantastic support team here at Brooks, made up of our school nurse Dave, chaplain Jordan, social worker Trent and school psychologist Kyla. Our support team works in a variety of ways to help our students. For example, they organise exciting groups like Drumbeat, Resilience for Girls, Health Groups, Strength for Boys, Tree of Life and Yoga. They are also there to help you with social issues, mental health, physical health and are someone you can talk to. We can support you to access one-on-one -on -one appointments or you can just catch up with them in the Haven during big breaks. They help our students and sometimes families access the support they need to thrive. Thank you for visiting with us today. If you have any more questions, please give us a call or speak with your primary school transition coordinator.